guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be filming another video for you guys today. And today I'm going to be filming a haul video. You may ask yourself, didn't you just film a haul video like three days ago? And the answer is yes. Yes, I did. The first step to admitting you have a problem is admitting it. So there's that. Um, I am going to be sharing with you guys a couple of the products that I purchased over the last couple days. It's been about three to four days since I've accumulated these products that I'm going to show with you guys today, but I couldn't wait because here's the deal. When I get makeup, it needs to be put on my face. I swatch it. I apply many, many layers of highlighter or bronzer or whatever it may be because I can't wait. So I am really excited to share with you guys everything. That way I can really try all of these products on my face. I actually tried to film this video yesterday, but the lighting was really, really weird outside. It kept going in and out, and honestly, it got so dark within just a couple of seconds that I thought somebody was standing in front of my window, and so I kept turning my head. Luckily, there was nobody standing in front of my window, so that's great. Um, but anyway, I decided to refilm this video because it was a little distracting, and hopefully this one turns out better. So without, or with all of that being said, let's go ahead and jump into today's video. Just going to grab everything at random. I will share with you guys where I purchased these products. I ended up going shopping at Ulta, Sephora, Sephora online as well, in store online. And then um, I think I got a couple items at like TJ Maxx, Ross, and then also Fred Meyer. I don't know if you guys have a Fred Meyer, but we do. If you ever come across a Fred Meyer, I would definitely stop there. They have clothes, they have shoes, they have uh, makeup, obviously, and then of course groceries and all of that fun stuff. It's so funny. Every time I go to Fred Meyer, I'm always needing, you know, like milk or fruit. I forget those things, but I have eyelashes and lip gloss, so... That's the bad thing about Fred Meyer, but it's totally worth it. So anyway, let's go ahead and jump into today's video. So the first products that I'm going to show you guys are from Fred Meyer, actually. And I ended up finding these there because I hadn't seen them at Ulta yet. And actually, I don't know if Ulta carries Wet n Wild. So I did purchase these at Fred Meyer. And these are the new Wet n Wild eyeshadows. So I did get two of them. I got shade Hooked on Vinyl, which is 343B. And then also Lights Out, which is 338. I don't know why this one has a letter and this one does not. This is what I actually have on today. And I will um, create a look if you guys would like and I'll post a video. Uh, I am so impressed with these eyeshadow palettes. I have this one on today. I think I just said that. And this one I have not applied on, but I have swatched it. And the formula is amazing. It honestly feels like luxury eyeshadow, but at the drugstore. And I think these were $3.99, I want to say, a piece. So that was a really amazing deal. So I did get two of these, and I got two of the full size as well, but I don't have those. I think those have already made its way into my drawer, so I don't have that for the video. Um, the next item that I got, I'm, again, just going in random order, is going to be this guy. This is by Maybelline, and I ended up getting this one at Walgreens. I would have totally wanted to get it at Ulta because, of course, I have the credit card and I get the points and all of that fun stuff, but... Um, or the rewards card or whatever it is. I got this in Tees. And again, the reason why I got this at Walgreens versus Ulta is because they've constantly been sold out of this color and I needed to have it. So again, this is called Tees Shade 60. And the reason why I got this is A, look at the color, but also one of my favorite YouTubers, her name's Nicole Guerrero, I'm sure all of you have heard of her. She has been wearing this in the past couple of uh, videos that she's posted. Here is a swatch of that guy. It's super, super pigmented, really shiny, really great wearing, and uh, definitely feels very flexible. Anyway, so Nicole Guerrero has been posting this in her past couple videos, and when she puts it on, it looks shiny and everything I just said as far as opaque and all of that fun stuff, but it just totally completes her look, and I love a shiny lip, and it's funny because I like either a super matte lip or a super shiny lip, so when I do go for a very shiny lip, that is definitely what I've been using uh, to top it off and to give this amazing shine. Again, I have this on today and I will be posting a photo. So go ahead and check that out. But it is amazing. The quality is awesome. So next item is something that I love to have just on deck for holidays or, you know, a Tuesday, whatever it may be, whatever floats your boat. But this is the NYX Glitter, and this is um, a stackable one. Obviously, it has three shades here. So it's gold, copper, and ruby. 
I could not have said that any better. So that's three different colors here. And then it also came with the cute little NYX glitter as well. So I have that guy. I've been trying to do some fun cut crease looks and everything. So I thought that this would be fun to obviously create that look. So there's that guy also. Uh, next item I found at Walgreens as well. Actually, the next two items. And again, Nicole Guerrero. I seem real stalker right now. But I loved the look of these lashes. These are the faux mink lashes. They're very full, but also still very fluttery. So that I thought that these would be really awesome to obviously have on hand. I would have wore these today, but I don't think I'm going to go anywhere other than filming. So I don't want to waste them on a day of not going out. But these are the faux mink. I will let you guys know what I think about these in a upcoming video I'll probably just do a get ready with me and I will definitely be using these lashes I'm super excited to try these on so there's those guys okay so next item also at Walgreens I'm not a hundred percent sure why I bought this just gonna be honest with you I got problems uh, this is by studio 35 beauty I believe is how you say it and this is the beauty blending sponge so it's pretty large like this and uh, I wasn't sure of course how to feel it and I was at Walgreens and I was like trying to open it but the lady probably thought I was trying to steal I don't know but I just I wanted to feel it I wanted to see if it was soft and it is very flexible this is not wet I have not wet this once and it is very soft and again very flexible very moldable um I'm really excited to try this obviously when it's damp to see what it's like to apply my foundation. I don't know if it's going to be amazing for my foundation, but what I was thinking is I can use this to apply my self tanner to my face. I thought that this might be a great little tool instead of using my hand or the sponge that I normally use for my body. So that is what I'm thinking with this guy. Again, if you guys would like to know what I think about this, I will do an upcoming review video and I'll let you guys know what I think, but that's pretty much why I bought that. So um, next item was actually a gift. My mom found this at Marshall's, uh, which is very similar to like TJ Maxx and Ross, um, like a discounted store basically. This is by Anastasia, and this is the liquid lipstick in Seraphine, I think is how you say that. And it's a really pretty red, and I'm going to do a swatch for you guys. Uh, I think this is one of their discontinued colors so that looks like that and I just thought that this would be great to have you know my mom asked if I wanted it and of course it's makeup so I'm not going to turn it down obviously but yeah I am excited to add this to my collection as well I've not used it on I've just swatched it so there's that. Continuing with liquid lipsticks, this is actually something that I got at Ross and this is by the brand Jasmine LaBelle Cosmetics. And this kit itself is called the Power Pout 5-Pack Liquid Lipstick Collection. Whew, that is a mouthful. So that is this guy right here. So one nude and then four blush colors. One is a little bit more raisin-esque. Uh, but I, I thought this was a really great deal. $7.99 for this. And it says normally it's $10, which I, I don't know if I believe. I could see this definitely being higher. But $8 for five liquid lipsticks. Yes, please. Have not used them, obviously. Again, if you guys want to know about these, let me know, and I would love to tell you. But I was really excited to get five liquid lipsticks for $8. So that was a steal of a deal. So there's that. Okay, so next three items I all, I all got from Ulta. They are all from Ulta. Here we go. Uh, so the Carly Bible palette, of course, I had to get. I actually specifically got this for the highlighters. The highlighters that are in here are gorgeous. So there's four highlighters, actually three highlighters and then a bronzer. But I thought that this would just be great to add, obviously, to my collection. But I have this smaller one and I like it. But as I was playing with this additional, or these additional colors that are in this one versus the smaller one, I don't know, I just felt like the formula was a little bit softer, a little bit more blendable. And then of course the highlighters were pretty amazing. So I thought that this would be a great little item to add to my collection. So that's the Carly Bible, and that's by BH Cosmetics. Everybody has this. This is the Jaclyn Hill palette. I think this has been out for like a year, give or take. I'm not 100% sure. I didn't think that I needed to have this because I have... Tons of individual Morphe shadows. I have tons of palettes, but I'm so glad that I did. Well, now that I've bought this, I've literally used nothing but this and the new Wet n Wild eyeshadows for literally the past week 
two weeks. Um, actually, a week, yeah, because I've had this one for a total of probably seven to eight days now. It's a little over a week, and it is amazing. I mean, you guys know Morphe. Super pigmented, super buttery, really easy to use, so I thought that, that would be great to have. Last item, a slightly random item. I don't know what made me buy these, but I'm so glad that I did. So this is by the brand Ulta, and uh, this is the cotton balls, 70 jumbo size cotton balls. So I've been using these non-stop, and I, when I got these and I brought them home, I was like, why the hell did I buy these? But I've been using these to take off my nail polish. I no longer have gel nails, so I've been really excited to use this to obviously switch out my nail polish. I literally switch out my nail polish every two days. So ridiculous, but I have a lot of nail polish, so I like to go through the colors. So I've been using this to take off my nail polish. I've been using this to clean up my makeup, obviously. I've been using it to like clean off things. I've been using it for my toners, my um, just certain skincare items. I don't know. I'm super, super obsessed with these. I don't remember how much these were. Maybe like $2.99, $3.99. I have no idea, but super, super glad that I bought these. So those have been really great. Uh, anyway, that is actually all that I got over the past couple days. I will probably actually, I think I'm going to go shopping today. Not that I need to, but there was this one specific item that I was really wanting, which will probably turn into six to seven items that I'm purchasing. But anyway, I also wanted to go to Ross. So we will probably get a couple more makeup items that we can film in an upcoming haul video. But that's what I got. Uh, if you guys, again, have any questions on the things that I purchased or you just need some additional information, please let me know. Also, please subscribe. Please like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Uh, definitely hit the bell notification so you guys don't miss a video. And until next time, I will see you guys soon. Bye.